A home's final selling price will depend on a variety of things. A lot of people think that the value of your home is dictated by expensive materials it was built with and state-of-the-art appliances it contains. They couldn't be more wrong. A home's value is dependent on a lot of things that have no physical connection with the home. In the grand scheme of things, you don't have complete control of them. So how then can you know that a home is of high value? Welcome to ALUX.com. Number one, low interest rates. House prices are influenced by interest rates and the two often have an inverse connection. The interest rate and the price of the property are the two factors that the majority of purchasers pay close attention to. The purchase price of the property is the entire sum you spend and the interest rate is the cost of your mortgage. Home buyers can afford pricey homes when the Federal Reserve reduces interest rates. In general, as interest rates increase and mortgage fees skyrocket, there will be fewer buyers in the market. As a result, real estate values either decline or remain unchanged until interest rates start to drop again. Number two, the home has great curb appeal. A home is sure to have a better overall value if the environment is well taken care of. First impressions last long, and many prospective home buyers will get this impression long before they see the interior of the building. A home's curb appeal is increased by well-kept grass, neatly trimmed trees and bushes, freshly painted shutters, and a welcoming doorway. The situation of neighboring homes will also have an effect on the home's value. So a sign that a home is of high value is the neatness of its curb. Number three, the schools are good. Education promotes development and ultimately leads to higher home value. Have you noticed that cities where reputable schools are located are often well-developed? The caliber of the nearby schools is one of the first factors parents with school-aged children take into account while searching for a new home. If your house is in a well-regarded school district, it will have a higher value whether or not you have kids, because it will be sought after by a lot of families. Number four, amenities are nearby. Home buyers usually desire to purchase an ideal home close to amenities like dining, entertainment, and shopping. No one wants to have to drive an hour to the nearest gas station or grocery store. Your home's value will be high if it's situated a short drive from these popular locations, or even better if you can walk there. Number five, the neighborhood is safe. Homes located in a neighborhood with low crime rates and general safety are bound to be valued higher than those in dangerous areas. Low crime rates attract investors and promote the opening of businesses in the area. With this growth in commerce, there will be a need to house workers. Prospective buyers could be deterred from making an offer on a property if the majority of the houses on the block have bars on their windows. This is a sign that security isn't doing much to prevent break-ins. Several pieces of research over the years have proven that neighborhoods with low crime rates usually have a higher home value than those with high crime rates. Number six, the house is in good shape. Nobody wants to buy a house in poor condition. Houses that are turnkey ready, that allow a buyer to move in immediately without having to worry about a leaking roof or defective wiring are what most buyers are searching for. The value of a home with a decent roof, airtight windows, sound and HVAC systems, and trustworthy wiring and plumbing will be higher than a home that needs significant repairs before people can move in. This is why a lot of homes undergo major renovations every few years, to keep it in good shape and make sure the property remains high value. Number seven, few homes are on the market. The effect of the buyer's market on home value is very prominent and must be considered during house purchases. Few homes on the market are a sign of a booming economy because there's no distress scale in your neighborhood. Like a domino effect, the average value of homes in the area will increase, and so will yours. A home will likely sell faster if there's less competition from other properties in the market. It's simply a matter of supply and demand. When there aren't many homes available, more potential buyers will be checking out yours, increasing its resale value and lowering the likelihood of lowball bids. Number eight, the neighborhood is restrictive. Not all restrictions are detrimental. In fact, they might be quite beneficial for a home's value. Home buyers seek reassurance that their new home's worth won't be diminished by neighbors who erect subpar storage sheds or leave broken down vehicles parked in the street. A property will be more appealing to purchasers if your community has a homeowners organization, or HOA, that prohibits these kind of activities. Number nine, the home uses energy efficient features. A house that uses less energy will cost you less money now, which you can use for other improvements, 
and will increase its value and marketability over time. Simple undertakings like installing a smart thermostat, for instance, can go a long way in increasing the overall value of a home. Home buyers want a house they would be proud of, and not one that will become a financial burden after purchase. So they'd rather spend big at the onset on a high value home than go for something cheap that will end up drilling a hole in the account. Replace outdated leaky faucets and windows, put in energy saving appliances, and insulate your house as further methods to increase the efficiency and value of your property. Number 10, there is a high employment rate. One of the most significant advantages provided by cities is access to jobs. And this is why a lot of homes in cities, even those smaller in size, cost more than those in rural areas. People often have greater incomes and levels of confidence as the employment market expands, which is advantageous to society in many ways. Again, like a domino effect, it results in more home buyers and renovators, which will in turn raise house prices. Since one often depends on the other, it's not surprising that individuals require solid employment to cover their mortgages and purchase homes. Number 11, there are very few foreclosures in the area. According to recent research, it was shown that neighboring house values decline on average by 1% for every 7% decline in the value of a foreclosed home. Although the owners of foreclosed properties themselves bear most of this loss, they're not the only ones impacted by this. When there are few foreclosures in your neighborhood, homes that are available for sale will not have to reduce their price to attract customers. It will also present the neighborhood as one that has well-to-do residents, thereby increasing the value of individual homes. Number 12, the city population is growing. Housing demand often rises when migration rates rise and more people move to a region, whether from neighboring states, nearby regions or beyond. As a result, property values often increase in terms of both capital value and rental value. When the population in a town consistently increases over a period of time, it's a sign that homes in the area will have high value. Number 13, the economy is booming. Property prices fluctuate according to the neighborhood and home conditions, as well as the general state of the economy, because fewer people will be seeking to buy if the local economy is in a slump. It is practically a given that the value of your property will fall in those situations. When the economy is booming, there is typically more money available, which leads to an increase in buyers and sales activities, prices and property values. So what causes a rise in housing costs? When a market is booming, credit rules are relaxed. Easy mortgage financing is more accessible. Demand rises and supply frequently cannot keep up. Speculators enter the market and prices rise quickly. Number 14, the home is not located on a floodplain. A home that is not located on a floodplain is safe from seasonal flooding and usually attracts a high value in the market. According to research, properties inside the floodplains have a market value that's about 3.5 to 12.2% lower than comparable residences outside the floodplains. Flood zones significantly affect the value of properties due to the damage that floods create and the danger that goes along with them, as well as the reluctance of insurance companies to cover certain losses in the event of flooding. Number 15, public areas are well taken care of. According to the research, properties within a mile of well-maintained community parks experience a rise in value by up to 20%. What impact do parks have on housing prices? Homes around parks are highly sought after by families with children. Apart from the obvious social and community advantage parks have, they also draw businesses and tourists to the neighborhood, which in turn increase a home's value. Regardless of whether you're a homeowner or a prospective buyer, it's important to recognize how much a home is worth. The state of the house, as well as the neighborhood it's located in, are some of the factors experts consider when evaluating a property. The economy plays a vital role in the value of homes, but it doesn't stop at that. Have you ever wondered why everything keeps getting expensive? We made a video titled 10 Reasons Why Everything Is More Expensive that explains what is happening. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our videos.